On this episode of American Secrets, we will investigate the Sand Creek Massacre. The Sand Creek Massacre stands as a haunting chapter of American history. This brutal clash occurred between the Native American tribes of the American West and American settlers during the tumultuous mid-19th century. The fateful events of November 29, 1864, near the banks of the Sand Creek in southeastern Colorado. It unfolded against the backdrop of the American Indian Wars, these were smaller scale battles that led to cultural clashes, systemic injustices, and the relentless westward expansion of the United States. Colonel John Chivington, a man with a complex background as a Methodist preacher turned militia leader, commanded the Colorado Volunteers in the 3rd Colorado Cavalry Regiment. Ostensibly, the purpose of Chivington's forces was to protect white settlements and quell Indian raids in the region. However, beneath the surface motivations lurked racism, avarice for land, and a prevailing sentiment among some settlers that the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes needed to be dealt with forcefully. Chivington's command to his men before the Sand Creek Massacre was chilling in its brutality, kill and scalp all, big and little. This directive set the stage for an unprovoked and merciless attack on a peaceful encampment of Cheyenne and Arapaho, led by Chief Black Kettle. In a gesture of goodwill, Black Kettle had raised both an American flag and a white flag of truce over his teepee, hoping to convey peaceful intentions. Unfortunately, Chivington and his men callously disregarded these symbols and initiated a surprise dawn attack. The carnage that unfolded during the Sand Creek Massacre was nothing short of horrifying. Chivington's forces showed no mercy, and the brutality unleashed on the unsuspecting camp was appalling. The victims included elderly individuals, women, and children. The soldiers engaged in ruthless acts of violence, including shooting, bayoneting, and mutilation. Scalping of corpses, genital mutilation, and other atrocities stained the landscape, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of the tragedy. At the end of the carnage, the Colorado Volunteers had massacred 160 Cheyenne and Arapaho Indians, most of them were women, children, and the elderly. Silas Soule, a captain in the 1st Colorado Cavalry, emerges as a central figure in the narrative of the Sand Creek Massacre. Recognizing the injustice of the impending attack, Soule took a moral stance that would later define his legacy. He ordered his men to hold their fire and refrain from participating in the bloodshed. After the massacre, Soule provided crucial and damning testimony against Chivington, detailing the atrocities committed by the Colorado Volunteers. His testimony played a pivotal role in the subsequent investigations and hearings. However, Soul's moral courage came at a heavy cost. Faced with threats and intimidation for his testimony, he met a tragic end. On April 23, 1865, Soul was murdered in Denver in what was widely believed to be a retaliation for his role in condemning the Sand Creek Massacre. His sacrifice and the subsequent tragedy underscored the challenges and risks faced by those who sought justice and accountability in the aftermath of such atrocities. The aftermath of the Sand Creek Massacre reverberated across the nation, prompting public outrage and condemnation. The incident raised critical questions about the conduct of military forces, the treatment of Native American communities, and the broader implications of westward expansion. Congressional hearings and investigations were initiated, with Chivington facing widespread criticism for his actions. Despite the evidence of the brutality and the outcry from the public, he was never held accountable in a court of law. The legacy of the Sand Creek Massacre endures as a painful reminder of the devastating impact of Western expansion on Native American tribes. It serves as a poignant illustration of the historical mistreatment of Native American populations during this period, 